everyone this is a doc coming back at you with another video and this uh, time the video that I want to make for you is one that talks a little bit about the manufacture of a particular cigar and this cigar comes in this box and it is the La Gloria Cubana Artesanos de Obelisco this cigar was one that I I have had these for quite a while. They come in a beautifully designed half moon presentation box. The cigars themselves are absolutely gorgeous. The band, which has been reworked and given a, a more of a retro modern style, is, is quite nice as well. So the whole, the whole packaging and banding, all that is just wonderful. But what is more amazing about these cigars than anything is the craft the craft that allowed these to be put together. When I was recently in the Dominican Republic as a guest of um, General Cigar Company, I got a chance to actually see the rollers rolling and these cigars and bunching these cigars. You have one person that does the bunching, a different person that does the rolling. Now I've seen an awful lot of cigars bunched and rolled and I've seen some of the most difficult cigars there are to actually bunch or roll. Things like uh, Diadema or Perfecto or Preferido the, done by La Aurora. But there was nothing really that prepared me for the difficulty and complexity in bunching and rolling one of these cigars. And when I was at the factory I got an opportunity to see the whole process live, up close, uncut, <laughs> unvarnished, and it was truly, truly a sight to behold. So I'd like to show you a couple of clips here of the making of the La Gloria Cubana Artesanos de Obelisco. The first thing I want to point out in the bunching process is that the buncher is employing the intubar method of leaf preparation and placement. Each leaf is rolled into a tube or straw this is the most difficult method of bunching and only the best torcedores or rollers can manage it. The benefit of the intubado method of bunching, if it's done right, is that it creates the cleanest and smoothest channel for directing smoke through the finished cigar when you're smoking it. Many of the finest cigars in the world are made this way, including such notables as Fuentes Opus X and the Artesanos de Obelisco. This is a difficult art to begin with, but with the obelisco, it's an incredible art form. Since the obelisco is shaped like an obelisk, the tobacco must be spread through the cigar in different quantities at different points in the cigar. Note the special plastic molds that have been made for the obelisco. These molds are not only fluted from the head to the foot, but are also diamond shaped at the foot. There are just two boncheros at General Cigar Factory that can bunch an obelisco using the intubado method, and only one roller who can put the wrapper on the bunch. Once again, to place a wrapper on the obelisco, the roller must place differing amounts of pressure and pull on the wrapper leaf at different points of the bunch. This is truly a difficult art, and once again, when you can see this live, you get a true appreciation for the craft that is involved in making a handmade premium cigar. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and I hope you appreciate as much as I do the masters of bunching and rolling that work at General Cigar and that work at other factories throughout the world. This is truly an art as well as a science and you can see the tremendous artisans that are at General Cigar that roll the Artesanos de Obelisco. Until next time, this is the Doc. Catch you later.